Yellowstone volcano will the next eruption wipe out humanity? USGS expects extreme effects if there is another super eruption. Yellowstone supervolcano's next super eruption guaranteed to leave the planet exposed to extreme conditions. This is what geologists announced, but will it be enough to wipe out the human race? The human race was almost wiped out 74,000 years ago with the Toba eruption. From what anthropologists said, they believe that there was only 2,000 couples worldwide that were left in what was called bottlenecking. Just a few survived. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports this today's article. The Yellowstone volcano, as we know, is in the northwest of the United States towards the west coast in the state of Wyoming and it's also in parts of Montana and Idaho bordering Wyoming. It's witnessed three major eruptions in the past and the signs are there are to suggest another eruption could go off in the future because it sits over a hot spot. The last blast, known as the Yellowstone Lava Creek eruption, occurred about 630,000 to 640,000 years ago. That was actually a double eruption that was 170 years apart. The Yellowstone eruption was at least 10 times larger than the 1918 eruption of Tambora in Indonesia. That blast of 1815 was powerful enough to cause a global cooling that led to a year without a summer in 1816. From what the geologists and anthropologists tell us, the Toba eruption of 74,000 years ago led to a volcanic winter that lasted six years. Now, super eruptions on this scale are incredibly chaotic, immediately destroying their surrounding areas with hot flows of molten rock, landslides and ash. First, they boil the area, and then there's a little mini ice age. Now, the, ice spewed, the ash spewed by the volcano, of course, can rise hundreds of miles and coat the ground in layers, many inches thick, which is devastating. Simulations run by the U.S. Geological Survey show emissions of gas and ash into the atmosphere can have a wider impact on the whole planet. But is this enough for the supervolcano to cause the end of the human race, that is, an extinction-level event. Not just the human race, but all animals and perhaps plant life as well. Michael Poland, chief scientist of USGS, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, thinks civilization will survive another Yellowstone eruption. This is what he wrote in uh, this week's Caldera Chronicles. It was written by Dr. Michael Poland. He said, we can be confident of this because there have been two massive eruptions while humans were present on Earth, and both of these were actually larger than Yellowstone's most recent cataclysmic eruption. These eruptions were from Toba, Indonesia, about 74,000 years ago, and from Taupo, New Zealand, about 26,500 years ago. There was another super eruption. The geological record does not contain any information about the New Zealand eruption and its impact on humanity, even though climate must certainly have been affected. And according to Dr. Poland, the eruption of Toba was considered for many years to have nearly wiped out the human species. But archaeologists have evidence. and They found that this period suggests that early hominids actually thrived despite the climactic effects of the super eruption. Digs across the plains of Africa found early humans were not greatly impacted by this cataclysm. The historic evidence suggests modern man, modern human civilization, is prepared to weather the storm of another Yellowstone eruption. Poland said this is not meant to make light of the impacts of future large explosions. In fact, the Toba-sized eruption is not needed to cause changes in climate, as the smaller but still large Tambora eruption 
demonstrated. Rather, he said, we hope to explain why claims that Yellowstone will cause an end to humanity are wrong. Such eruptions will cause major changes to the environment and will require humans to cope with extreme conditions. Our dependency on global trade, electricity, and other aspects of modern life will be impacted and create challenges that our Stone Age ancestors did not have to deal with, but we are an adaptable species. Humans would not go extinct, he says. Now, uh, the geologists also are very clear to say that they do not expect Yellowstone to uh, erupt with a blast of a super eruption at any point in our lifetime. The most likely explosion to go off at Yellowstone next, according to USGS, will be a hydrothermal one and not a volcanic one. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.